Star Wars is cool. Star Wars is great. Star Wars sometimes gets a lot of hate. But you know what people don't talk about with Star Wars? How hot some of the aliens are. Some of them, pretty ugly. Hi, I'm Joel, aka Joel Rat, and with Star Wars Episode 9 Rise of the Skywalker on its way, I thought it'd be a good time to uh, take, a, take a look at Star Wars and answer the most important question in Star Wars history. Which alien is the hottest? I should probably tag this video as, uh, as educational. The Star Wars universe is incredibly diverse. You have ones that are just demons, and ones that I thought weren't men in black, but no, they're just... they're from Star Wars, apparently. In my valuable opinion, Star Wars needs a new sex icon. Right now, they're the Twi'leks, the hot women of flesh hair. Uh, the only thing is that they're just hot women. That's boring. They're just women. They're just sexy women. They're just, they're just hot women. So we need something more unconventional, but still still pretty hot. So I checked the Star Wars wiki to see how many aliens we have to rank from hottest to nottest. You know, that shouldn't be that many, maybe 100, maybe 150. How about 350 species exactly spread over 10 movies? I'm not ranking 350 different species, we really gotta narrow it down. Hard. So we're throwing out the creatures like Porgs and Tauntauns, so sorry Thelosiren, I know people love you and your green milk, uh, but you're just cows and no one wants to fuck cows. Let me rephrase that, no one should want to fuck cows. We're also throwing out the ones that are just humans, so like I said, the Twi'leks, sorry, your flesh hair does not differentiate you that much. Also, gross flesh hair. Thelen don't have flesh hair, they have dyed hair, which is pretty hot. Dyed hair is kinda hot, but also, uh, they're just people. Death Mirians, they're just dudes in face paint with horns. Angels, they're just uh, glowing hot women from the moons of Lego. No. Not that Lego. A lot of these aliens aren't that interesting, they're just old dudes, or short dudes, or just regular dudes. Um, those are boring. I don't know why George Lucas decided to just put dudes and give them wacky names, but you know. Not hot. Throwing them out. Get out of here. Out of here, dudes. I asked you guys on Twitter which aliens you think are the hottest, and I should have known that I would have gotten joke answers like Watto, or Jabba the Hutt, or that one uh, alien that sings in Jabba's palace. But no, this is serious. This is science. This is not a joke. I am not joking. This is si this is science. I have wasted a week looking at species, right? I, I've just been looking at them. So, you, d you don't tell me, uh, Jabba the Hutt is the hottest. No, he's not. No, he's ugly. He's ugly. They're all ugly. We need to find the hottest one. We need to find- So throwing out all the ones that are just creatures and the ones that are just humans, we're left with 187 different species, which is doable. I know because I did it. So let's go through my rankings for every live action film in the Star Wars saga, except for Rise of the Skywalker because that is not out yet at the time of this recording. And also, I would go insane if I had another goddamn movie to go through. Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. The movie that started it all. Uh, there are 36 species in this movie, and believe me when I say I am not going through all 36 species because you do not want a video of me horny ranking 36 different species. I Believe me, you do not need or want that. You should not want that. Um, so here are my top 10. At number 10, we have Nim Banel. Uh, they're just walrus people, but what that mouth do? Number 9 are the Arcona. Uh, you just gotta ask, you gotta wonder, you know? What, what are they doing with that head? Number 8 are the Kubaz. They can get it. Number 7 are the Shastavanen. They're wolfmen, and they look like they fuck a little too much. Number 6 uh, are the Godel. They are pretty charming for crusty-ass goat men. Number five are the Deffel. Uh, they're a lot like the Shivastanen, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Uh, except I really like this this totally 90s outfit. He looks pretty, uh... What's a, what's a 90s word? Uh, Bill Clinton. Number four are the Bith. They're the Cantina Band aliens. Uh, they got style, they got, like, rhythm, <laughs> and they got skin flaps on their face that ask the age-old question, what that mouth do? FYI, a lot of these ratings involve me asking what the mouth do. Um, because a lot of them got very interesting and unique mouths. You can, uh, give them a little kiss. Or don't, because some of them are gross. Number three are the Rodians. They, uh, I don't know how to describe it. They fuck. You know, these guys fuck. Number two are the Wookiees. Do I need to explain this? Uh, if you need a big spoon, Wookiee. You know, they can get it. Uh, before I get to number one, I should uh, talk about my honorable mention, 
Himnanethe, or however the fuck you pronounce this, uh, which would be hot if it weren't for the fact that the females are required to be vegan so that the first meat that they ever taste is the blood <laughs> and meat of their first mate when they kill and eat them. Um, which I don't really have any specific sexy criteria for when I'm ranking these, but I'm pretty sure that if you're gonna fucking do that, you're just off off the list. Number one are the Deveronians. People are uh, horny for demons. That's all I gotta say. These guys are drowning in alien pussy, dude. Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back only has four sentient species to it, and believe me when I say they're not really that hot. Um, I don't know what what George Lucas was thinking, like. I'm pretty sure that priority when you make a science fiction movie is to just make hot aliens. And number four, we have uh, the Ugnaughts, which are somehow worse than my number three. Number three are the Gand, and these bitches are bugs, and I don't fuck with bugs, but if I had a choice, I'd rather fuck with this than I'd fuck with number four. These aliens fucking suck. Number two is a uh, Yoda species, uh, which is a species that George Lucas does not want to name because they are actually God's mistake. Um, they look like what would have happened if Miss Piggy and Kermit had a baby, but also they fuck. Uh, and at number one, we have the Trandoshans. Uh, they are hot lizard men. I am not a furry. Do you see any furry here? I'm not a furry. Do you see any furry? I'm not, I'm not a furry. Um, just because Lola Bunny, specifically from Space Jam, is hot does not make me... Let's move on. Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi, has 31 different aliens because fuck me, I guess. Uh, George Lucas, please make this easier for your fans that want to rank all your aliens, um, by <laughs> order of how hot they are. You know, I'm not a weird nerd like that. That's not me. I'm not a weird nerd. I'm kind of a bad boy. I'm a... I'm a bit of a bad boy. I'm a bit of a... I'm a... I'm a... Please date me. At number 10 we have the Gamorreans. They're pigmen, but they give off strong Shrek energy. Um, and he's already a sex icon, you know? Like look at him, then look at him. Number 9 is Doug. Uh, they're originally from the Phantom Menace, but they were added into episode 6 digitally. And all I gotta say about them is that they look like they fuck, and I don't want them to. Number 8 uh, are the Ascagians. Uh, she's just a human with 6 boobies. She got 6 boobies. Look at 6 boobies. Number 7 are the Gungans. Uh, I know Jar Jar is trash, but these guys fuck, alright? You might not like it, you might not agree with it, but but they fuck. Number six are the Nicktoes. Um, I'd hold hands with them, you know? I'd have a conversation with them. I'd look them right in the eyes and and stare deeply into their eyes and maybe get lost in them and, you know, like compliment them and like fall in love with Nicktoes. Female kiss. Number five are the Quarrens. Uh, I got seduced by this female Quarren from a comic. Uh, so now, all I gotta ask is uh, what that mouth do? Number four are the Mon Calamari. It's a trap! No, it's a weirdly hot mermaid alien. Number three are the Klitsunians. Uh, they got style, all I gotta say, you know? Fuck Ryan Gosling. I'd fall in love with a Klitsunian in LA, you know? Maybe a uh, La La Land dance on a. Uh, <laughs> up on the fucking. Is that a hill? Mountain? What happens in La La Land? That movie makes me sad now, I'm sad now. Clatoonian, save me, hug me, kiss me, hold me. Number two are the weak way. Um, yes, 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 pirate boy, yes, 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 pirate boy, I love my pirate boy. He is my boy, my pirate boy, I love my pirate boy, yar. Another honorable mention, this time it's the Pa Lawik. They're the singer alien from uh, Jabba's palace, and they look like they fucked a little too much. Um. But also, what that mouth do? And at number one for Return of the Jedi, we have Bothans, or Bothans, however the hell you pronounce it. Yeah, they got retconned by Rogue One, and I'm not a furry, but these guys are handsome boys. They're handsome boys. They're my wonderful handsome boys. I love my boys. I know you guys are wondering where I put the huts because you're all comedians, um, but actually, they're not hot. They're a three out of ten. Princess Leia didn't even want to fuck Jabba the Hutt, and she wanted to fuck her brother. Heading into the prequel trilogy, this is where George Lucas got really horny, because most of the designs are just hot women with different variations, um, and not very many aliens. Uh, there are a lot of aliens, but most of them are just people. They're just people. So George Lucas, keep it in your pants. I don't have any room to talk, I'm horny wrecking all of the Star Wars aliens. Don't talk about it all, it's, it's a mistake. 
This is why you're single. No, it's not. This is what cool people do. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, once again has 31 species because George Lucas has cursed me and will not let me die. Also, we're doing top 5 now, who cares? I'm not- this is- I am realizing now this is a big mistake. At number 5, we have the Toy Darians, the other ones that go, ANY! Um, uh, <laughs> Watto. It's Watto. Uh, yeah, no, they're not hot, but they have some weird charm and I really do not know how to describe it. Number 4 are the Keldor. They're ugly, but they fuck, and I like it. Number 3 are the Thys Piasiasen, and all I have in my notes is Hell Yeah Snake Boy, so I guess those are my thoughts on these. Number 2 are the Syrian. Uh, they fuck. They're a little too close to not being on this list because they're a little too human. And number one are the Chagrian. They might not look like number one material, but look at this female one. Yeah, number one. I really hope God isn't watching me do this. Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, has 11 different species because George Lucas fucking calmed down. And number five, we have the Verk. They're dinosaurs. What the dinosaurs that fuck? And number four are the Kaminoans. Uh, they slim thick. Just kidding, they just slim, but there's probably a real 34 of them somewhere. Number three are the Natolans. They can get it. Number two are the Basilisk. Uh, Dexter Jetster, yes. Um, and I know Dexter is a bit on the heavy side, but look at this slim boy and look at how sexy he is. And number one are the Claudites, uh, because they're shapeshifters, which is technically cheating, but who cares, it's Star Wars. Um, they can turn into my crush, which is a plus. I am very lonely. Claudites are number one for this one. And Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, only has three different species, which is pretty wild. And number three, we have the Utai. Uh, they're just kids, don't fuck kids. Number two are the Mustafarians. They fuck, they have the ability to. Um, that's about it. And number one, we have the Kalish. They're a little iffy, but if they're decked out like General Grievous, that's pretty hot. Because General Grievous is a sex icon all his own. Um, he killed Shaggy. Shaggy's dead. All right, we're heading into sequel and spin-off territory. <laughs> um, you know, AKA the age of Disney. Oh my God, I can't, I can't with this. I can't, I can't do it with this. All right, we're heading into sequel slash spin-off territory, AKA the age of Disney, AKA the age of alien designs that are not horny at all. It's actually really disappointing how unhorny these aliens look. Uh, and that's why we need to remake The Last Jedi, but instead of changing all of the amazing story stuff, we just need to have hotter aliens. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, has 23 different species, uh, and most of them are ugly and I do not like them. At number 5 we have the Otagon, which are better versions of the Athorians, because the Otagons don't have two mouths on the side of their heads, they instead have one mouth. And on the topic of mouths, what that mouth do? Number 4 are the Tarsoons. They're wise men, they're not hot, but they're in the top 4 or 5, they're in the top 5 for this movie. And number 3 are the Abednego, uh, they're Pretty solid, respectable. Number two are the Kazdag. They fuck nothing special here. And at number one are the Ubdurians. They look happy. They're not hot. These aliens are not hot. Uh, fuck it. The number one uh, is the whatever species Maz Kanata is, uh, which doesn't have a species apparently. But she's voiced by Lupita Nyong'o, which do I do I have to say more? Rogue One: A Star Wars Story has 12 unique aliens, uh, not counting the CGI really unnerving. Tarkin and Princess Leia. At number five, we have the Iakaru. Uh, they're fluff boys, and I really like them. At number four, we have the Britaro. Uh, these bitches look like who's, uh, but they don't rank that high, so that's fine. Number three are the Tognath. Uh, they can get it somehow. Somehow they can get it. Number two, the Anomid. Uh, they fuck. D don't ask me why, but I'm 100% sure that they fuck. And at number one, we have the Gigorians. You thought that Iakaru were f fucking fluff boys? Well, these these are fluff men. My favorite 90s vocal group, Fluff Boys to Fluff Men. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, aka the movie that people won't stop yelling about, please stop yelling about it, has about 12 different species. Most of them are gross, and I want Ryan Johnson to apologize, not for the movie, but for making me rank gross aliens. And number 5, we have the Dormanethians. Uh, they're fine, I guess. They remind me of old women. Oh god. And now I hate that. And number 4, the Bufo Pell. Uh, they're just Gorons from The Legend of Zelda. Number three are the Heptunians, and holy shit, that's just Onision. And number two are the Angade. Uh, they're not my preference, but they could really be sex icons if they wanted to. And number one, we have my personal favorite, the Zydek. Yeah, they're a little curvy, but those ain't boobies. Those are egg sacs, um, which might be a little unnerving, a little off-putting, uh, but look up here. Pussy head. She got a pussy head. That's a pussy head. A hussy. She got a pussy head. 
Rian Johnson, you don't need apologies anymore. You know why? She? Pussyhead. Solo, a Star Wars story, has 18 different alien species, and I couldn't be fucked to rank them because they're so gross, so here's the top three. And number three, we have the Pike. Why are they hot? They could just be dudes, uh, but they're, they're bad boys, you know? They're bad boys. Because they're space drug dealers. And number two, we have the Halo Bond. They, uh, once again, fuck. And at number one is my boy John Favreau, uh, as an Ardenian, you know? They're, they're just monkeys with forearms, but they're very charming. And I love them, I love my boys, I love my monkey boys. Thank god episode 9 is not out yet, I would go fucking insane if I had another movie to go through, my god. Thank god I didn't go through the goddamn Clone Wars. Or Rebels. Da I, I would die. So we have our top aliens from each movie. Let's see, we have um, the Deveronians, the Trandoshans, the Bothans, the Chagrians, the Claudites, the Kalish, the Ubdurians, the Gigorians, the Zydek, and the Ardanians. We need to choose one from these 10, and it's really hard because they're all great. Just kidding, a lot of them are trash. Let's throw out the ones that aren't perfect tens. So we're left with the Deveronians, the Trandoshans, the Bothans, the Claudites, and the Zydek. Hot, 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 hot. That's our top five. With a lot of thought, blood, sweat, and tears, I've narrowed down all 187 Star Wars species to one. So, the hottest alien in all of Star Wars is the Claudites. Just kidding, they're shapeshifters, I'm just lonely. It's the Zydek, because pussyhead. It's the, pu the pussyhead coerced me to do it, I'm sorry. But I forgot something. We need to find the new sex symbol of Star Wars. You know, something that's not the current one, the Twi'leks, uh, which are just sex slaves. Um, so George Lucas, that's a pretty bad look for you. That's a pretty bad look for you. Sex symbols aren't defined exclusively by how good they beat a bone. Um, and yeah, the Zydek are pretty good to bone, pussyhead. Uh, but that shouldn't be what encompasses the, the one Im most important sex symbol in all of Star Wars. What should define sexiness isn't just how good they be to plow, but how they deal with feelings could also be sexy as well. Um, hey girl, you can give me your shoulder so I can cry on it. There's nothing more sexy than having a shoulder to cry on. Having someone you can open up to about anything. Someone who's always there for you. And also someone that you can fuck because that's also a huge part of it. They're sex symbols, it's sex. So while this alien didn't make it to number one in their own movie, I think it should be w the sex symbol that defines Star Wars as a whole. And I think that the best way to convey my point is through the language of love. That's right. French, just kidding, it's, it's poetry, it's a love poem. With love, I make mistakes. With relationships, I'm a rookie. So if your heart is full of aches, what you need is a Wookiee. Also, you can plow them. That's right, the true sex symbol of Star Wars are the Wookiees. Chewbacca, I love you. I'm sure we knew this from the get-go. They're a perfect mix of sensitive and hot and whatever adjective describes bad boys other than the word bad. So you're probably saying, hey Joel, if you knew that the Wookiees were the one from the get-go, and you threw out your ranking of all 187 different species, um, then wasn't that a huge waste of your time? No. Um, knowledge is its own reward. And also, like, I can win arguments, you know. If you, you tell me, hey, this one's the hottest one, I can go, no, it's not. Uh, and they'll argue, but I will say, have you ranked all 187 different Star Wars species? You have not. You have no say. I am the keeper of the sexiness in Star Wars. It is my, my it's, it's my, my, my right, it's my, my obligation to, to keep, to gatekeep. Which aliens in Star Wars are the sexiest? They're, it's mine, alright? I, I win. It's science. It, I won. Also, please, I need to see a real woman. It's been weeks. I have looked exclusively at Star Wars aliens um, with the mindset of ranking them from sexiest to not sexiest. Um, so I just need to see a real woman because I have gone insane. I have lost my mind and I... <laughs>
donate to my Patreon at patreon.com slash resort uh, where you could potentially get exclusive content. And also, I'll read your name out like I will do right the fuck now. All right, going to do the Patreon shout-outs. Productions and I got Jared again. I got Cookie TV. What a fucking good man. I love all of my patrons, and for them I'm so thankful. Wish I could say thank you to all of them in person, but you guys are all angels, that's why I'm saying thank you next. Thank you next. Thank you next. I'm so fucking grateful for my patrons. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. I'm so fucking grateful. Donate to my Patreon and I'll read out your fucking name. I bet you'll like that shit, cuz it's never uh, the, the same. Patreon, I fuck this up. Do it or I'll fuck you up. That's not a threat, please just help, help me out. I, I'm... I'm broke. Please help me. Please help me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, bye.